Hello and welcome to another Affinity Photo tutorial. My name is Alex Taradachuk and if you're new to this channel, I post weekly tutorials on how to edit photos using Affinity Photo, Photoshop and Lightroom. So if you want to learn more about editing your photos, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and ring the bell to get notified when I upload new videos. With that out of the way, Let's convert this image into black and white using three methods. Let's use the first method. First of all, let's duplicate the layer. Click on black and white in the adjustment panel. Or you can go to layer, adjustment layer, and you have black and white. It's the same thing. Now, each tool has different options. Black and white adjustment layer can let you make adjustments on the colors that are already in the image. Let's use the cyan, blue in the sky to make it more dramatic one. I don't have any magenta so that will not change that much so leave it like that. I want to focus on the yellow ones because I have a lot of yellow in the photo and on the sky. And for the moment, we can leave it as is. The second option is to use curves in order to basically take out the colors from the image and just use these sliders here. Now, if you don't know how to use curves, basically the left side is the dark side, the shadow area, and this is the light area. So as long as you understand that on the left is the dark area and on the right is the light area, you can start modifying this bit and you can start playing, you can create different curves and different effects for your photo. That's why I love the curve tool, it can give you a very satisfying result. So if you want to make like a flat, image you can do like this okay I think it's over exaggerated a little bit but for this tutorial makes sense leave it like this and let me show you a different way using gradient map and again if you don't see this adjustment panel here, could be on the right side, or you can go to View, Studio, Adjustment. Click on the gradient, and you already see the magic happens. Let's delete the color. As in the curve option, black on the left, white on the right. And there you go. But I can show you another trick to make it more fantasy-ish. You can add another point by double clicking on the line or insert. And looky here, you can add color to it. But for the moment, we are going with the black and white option only. I can play like this. Let's insert another point. And you can jump it. So there you go. This is a very nice effect. And of course, if you change the whites, you can impact the photo. So this is a more radiant, glowy thing. Uh, to be honest you can you can play with it and you can get like very very nice effects as you can see i think it's and again i'm using a more dramatic option here so let's delete this one delete this one and just try to make a proper image here now remember that the first thing that we did was to create a duplicate. 
what I want is to create a more dramatic scene. So let's use dodge and burn in order to add some shadows to the image and to create some highlights in the different areas. So I'm using the bracket keys to make this bigger. We are influencing the mid tones here, or you can influence the shadows and you can see a preview here. So with the shadow selected, let's add more drama to the sky. And because we are modifying the background duplicate, this option will work for all the adjustment layers here. So if I hide the gradient, go to black and white, you already see before, after, before, after. And of course, this is a very quick edit. Let's add some details to this area as well if I remember correctly this was in was hit by the Sun as well so it had a little bit of whites to it we can add let's say make the tool bigger let's see if we add a few touches here to the water to make it more let's see before and after so this is before and this is after. I think it's more dramatic, right? Okay, I think that concludes our tutorial for today. Again, if you want to learn to edit your photos in Affinity Photo, Photoshop, Lightroom, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and ring the bell to get notified when I upload new videos. Until next time, take care.